Yes, I drink coffee a lot. Andy doesn't drink coffee. I do not drink coffee. <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> I thought I would try and get him interested in coffee, so I've had him try different kinds and different brands. Yeah. I'm not afraid of trying it, too, but I still haven't acquired the taste yet, so... No. Yep. <laughs> I left my job, my full-time job recently, uh, two years ago, two years ago. to paint full-time. Uh, Andy would come home from work and I would say, let's get out of the house, and he'd say, I just want to be at home. <laughs> <laughs> so after a while, I realized I have to leave the house. So I decided I needed to at least have a part-time job. When I was quite young, I was very interested in art and I took art lessons from a, an old lady and now it's a lot of fun, but then during high school, I got more caught up in like sports and uh, working at this um, new roasting company in the mornings. I've learned so much about coffee from the people that grow it to tasting it, roasting it, even brewing it. That can affect so much about coffee, so it's fun. There, there's a lot to learn about coffee as well. Yes, I've always painted and drawn ever since I was little. Um, even with oils and watercolor paint. So it's something I've always done. I went to school, I got a degree in business, but um, I've always been painting and drawing besides that. So that's what I ended up doing. But it, it helps, the marketing helps, I guess, with selling my artwork. When I got to college, I thought I'd be like an engineer or something like that too, but I found out I wasn't very good at math. And then I still want to do something computers, but I still had this art interest whatever too, and I found out graphic design was really good. And then. When I was taking my graphic design courses too, I was taking a lot of fine art courses and rekindled a lot of interests and sparked a new way of life for me too, so. It's funny because I went to school for marketing and only did that, I think, because I thought I needed something stable and art won't pay for a living. You can't live off of that. And then eventually I realized that's what I want to be doing, so I'll figure out a way to make it work. <laughs> I have a full-time job, and then I just come home, eat dinner, then play the kitchen for a bit, then paint, and which is very relaxing. It's, I mean, I look forward to it, and it's just a great way to unwind the day. And our artwork has changed since our first art show as well, and I think every artist goes through different phases. So it's fun to look back at the first pieces, and mm -hmm. you know the work has transitioned over time. Yeah, it changes, it evolves over time. And I think everyone's got a creative side to them they just have to figure out exactly what it is and yeah what their outlet is because people say like oh i can't draw or i can't do anything you are too like uh, yes you can you know just try different things keep experimenting you know find your own thing be original problems though doing our first art show or painting with Andy. I, just having someone see my artwork before it was done, I didn't like that before. I had problems. Um, I was worried that his ideas, I would be influenced by his ideas, so I didn't want him to tell me what he was painting or what his ideas were because I did not want to say, oh, I wish I had done that. So it took me a while to get used to painting with someone, but now I really, it's so nice. and. I still remember when we were doing our first show, doing the whole process, they were it's all chaotic and everything too, and even just getting frustrated, like, I'm never doing a show with you ever again. <laughs> 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 that was pretty amusing, and then here we are after five more years, and we've done many shows together, so. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't want it any other way, so. <laughs> Since Angel and I are both very proud and of our Scandinavian heritage, we often find ourselves painting and are influenced by Scandinavian culture and lifestyle and folk stories or anything related to like uh, Finland, Norway, Iceland. One of my favorite subjects is uh, Viking ships. I have some Norwegian heritage as well too, and I always like to do a kind of, some kind of uh, take on a Viking ship or uh, Nordic feel. And Angel's been inspired inspired by the Kalevala. Yeah, it's fun learning about where you, your great-grandparents came from and kind of what their traditions were and to see the similarities that you have in them to go over to Finland and then see someone that kind of looks like you was exciting too. Uh, my great-grandmother was born in Vasa 
And uh, she immigrated to the United States uh, in the early 1900s, but she spoke Swedish. And I always thought she was Swedish and until later on in life too, I found out she was born in Vasa. So that's where I have some Finnish heritage. Recently, a year ago, we were in Finland in Kurika displaying our artwork and that was just a wonderful experience. Um, and there's also a family reunion, so. In America, the history is so short. When you go to Finland, you can track your ancestors back to the 1500s. It's wonderful. You treat it just like you would a normal watercolor painting and you keep it out of direct sunlight and um, you wouldn't want to get it wet or anything. No. Obviously, but yeah. <laughs> We had an art show scheduled at a coffee shop. We thought we would try something different and maybe use coffee somehow in this art show. And then Andy went on the internet and got a recipe for pastels, and we substituted coffee for the pigment. We just figured, uh, well, it, coffee makes stains or whatever, and we thought that, well, let's try using it like a watercolor medium. So we just tried different uh, processes and techniques, and soon we find a good technique. We've been doing this about five yeah, since the year 2000, years. so yeah. five years. All kinds of people buy our art, and, and, and a wide variety of people. You know, some people like it just mostly a lot because of the coffee, and they like the picture, and other people just like the image itself or the idea it conveys and mm -hmm. so it's it reaches a wide audience I think. Mm -hmm. Coffee is such a universal beverage whatever too and people around the world know what it is and to be able to create artwork out of it too and just already have that instant connection with the coffee and the art. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,